And welcome back on behalf of the Crochet Crowd and Good Knit Kisses, I'm Kristen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bow. Right now I've got one roll of 15 feet or five yards of ribbon. This will make a perfect five loop bow on each side. So you don't need a bow maker, you are the bow maker. So we're gonna show you how to tie a bow for a present or a package or a tree or whatever you'd like or a wreath. The first kind that I recommend doing is a um, wired ribbon. So we're gonna get started here. Have some chenille sticks. Um, some people call them pipe cleaners. These are just plain solid color ones. These have a little bit of sparkle for the holidays. Um, grab one that coordinates the best with your ribbon or you can use one that matches your packaging or the thing you're tying it to. Say a wreath, you might wanna use a brown one. So we are going to start by making a little loop in the middle. I'm gonna take my cut edge and roll it towards the back of my hand. Uh, this is the hand that I'm gonna hold with. This is the hand that I usually will um, make the bow with, whichever one's more comfortable with for you, left or right. And we've got enough here in the middle to be able to hold on to. So if you need to make that a little longer, feel free to double up the middle, especially if you wanna make it look extra thick there right in the middle, especially if you got a see-through one. So we're gonna grab it and squish it together and pinch it. Squish and pinch. And then we're going to flip this around. And if this was a one-sided ribbon where one side was prettier than the other, your goal is to put the prettiest part of the ribbon on the outside. This particular one, all the glitter seems to be on this top side. You can see it from the back a little bit, but in person, it actually looks better to do it this way. So we're going to flip it around and make a little bow here. And when we get to the middle part, we're going to twist it. The secret is the twist. Twist and your bow will be able to spread apart later and you'll see why. So we're going to flip and twist and when we get it to the next side, when we flip to the other side, you wanna look at these two, grab your two fingers, pull it up, see if they're about even, they are. And now we're going to flip and twist that and keep holding it with these other two fingers. Now we're gonna match these sides here. So all we do is bend it over, put our two fingers here, make sure it matches. And once we have that matching, we're just going to twist it Keep holding on and go to the other side, match that up and twist it. Now we've got two loops on each side that are relatively the same size. Now I want you to make your third loop on this front side here a little larger. And we're gonna flip and twist. So you're just gonna continue that action. If, if your ribbon gets in the way, you could take a bowl, put it in the bowl, set it off to the side and then you don't have to keep messing with it as much. So we're gonna flip and twist it. Now we get to the other side and we wanna match that. All we do is do it again. We pull through here, kind of pull this part and make it longer if you need it. And flip and twist. Spread this part out. And go ahead and match this bottom part again. So now this is matched. So continue on the other side Flipping and twisting. And now I've got two loops on this side. And we're gonna do three on this side that match. That's the third one. And now the other side is the third one that matches here. All right. So what we've got here is we've got five loops on each side. We've got two smaller and three larger, two smaller, three larger, and then one in the middle. Now we can stop here and you can see I've got some ribbon left on here. We can decide if we want long tails for our bow or if we wanna add another loop. Let's say you wanna just get as full as you can. Keep adding those loops. You could even add one more, a little longer, and these will kind of remain in the center and I'll show you when we fluff it up. All right, so we make that a little longer. And now we've got a six loop bow. What I'm gonna do is pull the rest of this ribbon off and we're gonna get the tail that we need. I've got actually just a little bit more, but I just wanna show you um, with the short tail what this is gonna look like. And we're gonna take this part here. Now we've grabbed the bottom and we're just gonna cut. 
Use some scissors that you don't usually like to cut paper with and grab your uh, pipe cleaner. I'm gonna use a contrasting one so that you can see it. So we wanna put it down this middle part where your thumb is resting and then pinch it again. Use your other hand to pinch that down. Go ahead and bend the pipe cleaner around, really making it sure it's tight, okay? So I am, what you can't see is I'm really pulling and tugging on this. I want you to pinch it right here, pinch it and push it together and really twist that on. Okay, we're gonna really twist that on good. So you can see that this is not going anywhere. Now, um, before we finish, I'm gonna pull this big loop out and pull it down this way so it's out of the way. So we know this is our tail. Now, um, we're gonna concentrate on these six loops here. We're gonna make this loop right here in the middle, so leave it alone. Then just start kind of tugging and pulling these loops to the left and right. Start moving these around. And you can see that this bow is really starting to fluff up. And as you pull them around, you can come back towards the base of them and make sure that's still spread out. The base is um, what I'm calling is this middle section here. Now you can see this side is spread and this one is not. It's still what I call stacked. Go ahead and start spreading the other side now. And when you do it, just kind of keep holding tight on this side and then that way you can kind of push this way, this way with this hand and then pull this way with this one. That way you've got some pressure to kind of help you tug and it holds that bow in place. All right, so there I've got my bow that I've now spread out and now the last finishing touch is to move this pipe cleaner a little bit to the back and then we are going to take this uh, ribbon and we can cut it a couple of different ways. We can cut it uh, at a diagonal, at an angle like this and make it open this way or we can bend it in half and then we're going to cut from the inside fold down and at an angle towards the uh, outside edges, finished edges. And when we cut that way, we get these nice two pointed ends and that's how you get those. So your bow is ready for whatever decor you need it for. I'm glad that you got to tune in for the bow tutorial today. On behalf of the Crochet Crowd and Good Knit Kisses, I am Kristen with Good Knit Kisses. Happy crafting!